When I come to the Territory, I love to use a great fishing guide because seriously, they can save you years, even decades of work and put you right in the fish. This is Wazza Smith. Now, Was, how long have you been guiding the Territory? 25 years. Oh, mate, you got the legs of a 26-year-old, seriously. <laughs> I wish. Now, it's hard sometimes for people to find a barrow. I think they overcomplicate it. Tell us about the tide. Is there a best tide for catching barrow money? Tides, there's always somewhere where you'll go, whether you're on spring tides or neap tides, where you'll find barrows. And that's probably the trick to it is in your head and over time you'll learn somewhere where to go. So if we're on spring tides, we are a little bit today so I can see Paul. We've got some beautiful flats down the front and they'll only work at high tide, even though it's spring, but we can catch fish there. And then neap tides, you can fish the same flats at high tide again. You don't get as much time because the tide doesn't go up as high. So it goes up this high and then drops out, where on spring tides it goes this high and then drops out. So that makes a big difference. And what about mud flats and stuff? Now we've got a GPS here. It's putting us straight down the guts. We know exactly where we're going. Do people have to worry about mud flats, rock bars, that sort of stuff, or is it pretty much common knowledge as to where those things are and if they're gonna be structured that'll actually hold fish? When you're in a river system or a creek, it's sort of, you have to learn it yourself. So you learn where the rock bars are and the mud banks. Even with a GPS, they don't show you everything. So, And the best way to do that, if you go up there at low tide, don't go flat out. Have a beautiful sounder like this with side scan that, and you can actually see the rock bars and the shallow bits, and you'll know you can mark it. So if you're worried, you can put skull and crossbones or yep. whatever, whatever way you want to mark it, and it's a reminder to you. And then also, a lot of those spots you find, you'll find you'll catch fish in them as well. When the tide drops out, they have fish holes in So area. one of the biggest tips is gonna to be to go to a new area at a dead low tide, so you can physically see where everything is, mark your, mark your channel, then you're done forever, aren't you? You're done, you've got it, and you know what, where your safe passage is. Plus, I see you also find there'll be fish on those areas as well. So moons affect tides, and not a lot of people understand this, but is there a moon or a particular phase of the moon that you love for barra, or is it just about having a lure in the water? Normally, Generally, I would say neap tides, which is halfway between a new moon and full moon, that's sort of the best, but not always so. But normally, that you would say the neap tides are the better tides because you get cleaner water and stuff like that. But once again, there is some, some places you'll fish, so you actually need all the water to drain out. So it's a big spring tide, it's good. The water will drain out. There's only so many snags left or so many little channels and the fish have to be there, Paul. Now, I'm a believer in this theory, and I've never asked you this question. In a billabong, it's landlocked, so those fish are not affected by the tide, but I believe they are. What are your thoughts? Because I've actually caught landlocked barra on a tide change, and the water is literally 50 kilometres away. There's, Am I going crazy? No, there's something there. So I've actually used to fish with a, another guy who's actually fished here longer than me, and he used to go on the billabongs, and he used to swear by the tide chart, and he would say, like, it's no use going there, there'll be a bite at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, and it normally is when the tide happens. There you go, so the tide, and we've got some pretty big tides in the Territory. It is your friend, the moon is your friend. Use it to advantage, and you could catch a million dollar fish. Seriously, fish of a lifetime. We are so blessed to live in this amazing country and get to come to the Northern Territory. So I just got this fish cradle in the belly. When I do that, I can release the grip and literally just go spear. The Russian judge gave that a 9.9. .9.